One week after visiting penguins on Magdalena Island, I set off to Puerto Natales. In this episode, I will start my hiking adventure at Torres del Paine and experience some strong winds. Hola gringo, bienvenido a las Torres del Paine. Hey, the National Park Torres del Paine will be my playground for the next eight to, I guess, nine days. I just got up at the last stop, which is, which means I have to do a queue. This adds like a little bit to my itinerary, exactly one day. And um, I am prepared. I have uh, also enough food for one day more. This is my backpack. It is about like more than 20 kilograms. As you see, it's not a bad decision to do the queue because then you walk into the Taurus, which are amazing. Yeah, the first part is from the administration to Peine Grande. On this day, I experienced the typical strong Patagonian winds for the first time. Because of its beauty and huge diversity, the Torres del Paine National Park is one of the most visited parks in Chile and the significant landmark in Patagonia. Here you can find crystal blue lagoons, the impressive Paine Massif and fresh clear streams together with glaciers, green valleys and the view to the overwhelming southern Patagonian ice field. I hiked around 18 kilometers in 6 hours and arrived at the campsite Paine Grande in the evening where I set up my tent, enjoyed some pasta and chats with fellow hikers before encountering a windy first night in my tent. I got up really early to pack and hit the trail again. Day 2. We are at the campsite Paine Grande where I slept tonight, this is over there was pretty pretty windy tonight so a few tents broke this night mine not so this is why I can continue today I'm going to the Valle Francaise which is over there this valley and uh, the whole track will be like 24 kilometers again there have been numerous streams with fresh pure glacier water to charge up for a tough day hiking through the Valle de Francaise the French Valley. After leaving my backpack at the Campamento Italiano, I faced the steepest part of the second day and I got rewarded. So after almost three hours of walking, I made it to the lookout named Britannico and enjoy some nuts by having this view. Unfortunately, I had to grab my huge 20 kilogram backpack on the way back down again to head over to the camp for this night. The trail led us along the Blue Lago Norenskjöld with a little part along the beach before we finish this day at the Campamento Los Cuenos. Stay tuned for the next episode where I will walk to the Torres, I will eat more food in great surroundings and increase my mileage. Follow along, hasta pronto! If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and have a look at the last episode from Magdalena Island. Oh, 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 oh,